Om Shanti, welcome back and we are going to record a couple of days, that is two days back of recording of 20th May which we have missed out and we are going to record this and you are going to then listen to 21st of May and then today's that is 22nd of May. So let's go ahead with first the 20th of May Godly Blessing where Supreme Father wants us to become a self-sovereign. What we learn in Brahma Kumaris is Raj Yoga or Raj Yoga Meditation. So Raj Yoga means Raj means to become a king of our mind, intellect and habits and then become a king of our five senses. That means have control over our eyes, what they see, what we hear through our ears, what we speak through our mouth and control over the other senses, hands and legs. So either we are a king of our five senses or the five senses are controlling us, the king. That means the complete kingdom is in control of the king or the complete kingdom is controlling the king. What is going to be the condition of a king who is being controlled by the complete kingdom or the subjects in his kingdom. So the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, skin, hands and legs, they are the subjects of the soul who is the king. So let's see what does Baba have to say. God says in this blessing, may you be a conqueror of matter. Even our body, you see, it's made up of matter, the five elements. And a conqueror of Maya. Maya is the five different vices, lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, which are actually connected to the five senses, if you think about it clearly. And have the intoxication of self sovereignty by being seated on your immortal throne. So as a soul, if you think about your forehead where you put a bindi or a cross or a tikka, this is where in between the eyebrows around 2 inches within, the soul is seated over there. It doesn't have a physical seat. It doesn't have a chair where the soul is seated. It is there in the sky element within this body seated and under the brain it is giving command to the brain and the brain is then sending the command to the five senses just like I the soul. I'm using the brain as a medium and then using the vocal cords to give out or share this knowledge which is there within stored as a memory within me the soul so God says a soul who is seated on his immortal throne constantly has spiritual intoxication that means if I am soul conscious I am seated on this throne I have then the spiritual intoxication. Just as a king is unable to rule his kingdom without intoxication, if the king forgets that he's a king and he rules the lands, rules the people, guides them towards their own victory, towards their own well being, then the king is not going to be able to give any kind of command to his subjects. In the same way, if you, the soul, God is talking to us souls. Do not have the intoxication of your self-sovereignty. That means I am a soul, I am in command of my mind, my intellect and my habits. I decide what my mind thinks, I decide what my intellect decides and I decide what kind of habits do I need to portray in this kind of situation, in front of this kind of person. And if I'm in control of all these three things, then automatically my five senses are also following my command. If not, then I'm not the king. You cannot rule over your subjects. If you, the soul, do not have the intoxication of your self-sovereignty, you cannot rule over your subjects. Subjects over here are the subtle subjects are mind, intellect and habits. And then the physical subjects are the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, skin and the hands and legs. That is over your physical senses. You cannot rule over your subjects. That is over your physical senses. So be seated on your immortal throne and on the heart throne and have this spiritual intoxication. I the soul, I am seated at the center of my forehead. I am taking control of my five senses through pure thinking and also I am careful to understand that I am seated on the heart throne of God. That can only be possible when we have a pure mind, pure intellect, pure sanskars. Only then can we be seated on the heart throne of God. And then automatically somebody who is seated on the heart throne of God 
will be commanding his five senses and the subtle senses in a very pure and powerful manner don't you think so no obstacle or problem will then come in front of you not even matter or maya not even the five elements which the body is made up of and the five elements around us or even maya that means lust anger greed ego attachment cannot attack the king can attack you so be seated on the throne means easily to become a conqueror of matter and a conqueror of maya this is a vast subject which we learn in brahma kumaris we are just touching the basics over here in the complete vardan but this vardan or the blessing has been taken out from a spiritual study which is a vast subject and there are complete books written on this you can learn about this how to be in control of your five senses so that in any situation through in front of any person you are not defeated defeat doesn't mean that you give back answers you reply back you take revenge that is not the defeat which you're talking about but getting into a mood swing being very being depressed or having any kind of sadness because of somebody's response somebody's way of acting means that you the king the soul are defeated in that situation so how not to be defeated is what you learn in brahma kumaris you too can go ahead and do the seven day course and start on this path at least with this om shanti and now you're going to listen to the next blessing that is the blessing of 21st of may om shanti <laughs>